Hi, welcome to the seminar workshop, Life Skills with Spirit. My name is Nelly and I'll be the facilitator for this workshop. Uh, just briefly I'll give an introduction what the workshop's about. Life Skills with Spirit is part of a larger course called Yoga for Living and Loving and that gives us a framework for living happily and prosperously here in the material world and at the same time making spiritual progress. In that whole framework, Life Skills with Spirit, specifically it gives us uh, understanding how we can relate with the important parts of the world around us, the parts that support us and give us our identity, that's our body, our family, the community and country, and al also our belief system. But also, this workshop helps us to understand that this in itself is not enough, because these are actually material, and we're spiritual beings, and we have a relationship with the Divine Spirit, which is the basis of all of these uh, gifts that we have. So the Life Skills with Spirit workshop shows us how we can have a positive relationship with all the things that we depend on in our life, and at the same time have our positive relationship with the Divine. And that relationship between the individual spiritual self and the Divine uh, basis of everything, that is called yoga. Yoga means meeting, and yoga means that we want to live here practically, effectively, here in the material world, and at the same time have this sense of connection with the divine, that is yoga, and feel happiness and divine strength and support from that meeting. So that's some of the things that we'll be going through in the course of this workshop. The purpose of the workshop is, first of all, to give us a sense of identity, who we are, and what is our purpose in life, what is our mission, what are we actually alive for. And also, to give us a sense of spiritual contact, spiritual contact with ourselves as spiritual beings, and also spiritual contact with other spiritual beings and with the Divine. And then the third thing is to help to build up a positive association of people who want to make a practical and positive difference in their own lives and in society as a whole. Some of the steps that we'll be going through in this workshop, we'll be looking at health, fitness, keeping our energy high, managing uh, negative energy patterns in the body, traumas and stuff like that. Then we'll be looking at, in the family, we'll be looking at what is the meaning of love, what is love actually, what, what is a relationship, how we can have uh, healthy, effective relationships, how we communicate uh, things that matter to us in relationships without too much emotional stress, uh, what are our talents, what are our values, what is our identity, who we think we are, what kind of issues do we have to deal with, and what, kind of, what plans we have, what goals we have, and how we can make a practical uh, life, uh, a practical action plan for making this a reality in the near future. So these are just some of the things that we'll be going over and in the course of that we'll be getting to know ourselves better and we'll be getting to know the other members of the group better and coming together as a very supportive and also a spiritual community. So those are the, some of the things that we can look forward to. The format of this seminar workshop, I will be making input, but the majority of the workshop is actually practical exercises, practical interaction, uh, things that you do practically yourselves, rather than just getting information, but getting skills, attitudes, understanding that we can internalize by practice in the course of the workshop, so that makes it more substantial when we leave. So without more ado, uh, we've got rather a large group so that you can begin to uh, interact with somebody in particular. I'd like you to get into pairs and just do a little simple sharing, say five minutes each, and four things particularly. What are you feeling right now? What are your feelings? And why have you come here? What, do you, what are you hoping to get out of the workshop? What is your objective? What would you like to happen while you're here? And what would you not like to happen? What don't you want to happen? 
So, how are you feeling? Why have you come? What would you like to happen? And what don't you want to happen? So if you can just move into pairs and take five minutes each, take turns to listen attentively, express ourselves, and then change over. Okay. In order to get the results that we want, we need to create the mood and atmosphere that's going to help us to open up to ourselves, open up to others. And that means that we need to make a commitment to how we're going to interact with each other, how are we going to be here. I want to do this in two stages. Um, like, for example, I'll give an example. If we come together in a group, now we could play tennis, we could play football, we could have a rave, we could do a silent meditation group where we don't do anything or say anything for the whole time that we're here. We can share, we could have a recovery group, we could have a community building workshop. There's so many different ways of coming together and the result completely or very largely depends on what kind of commitment we make, what kind of quote-unquote rules or guidelines we adopt during the while we're here. So what I would like you to do is to make some input. What kind of mood would you like to have in the course of this seminar workshop? How would you like it to be? How would you like it to feel? What kind of a group would you like to be part of which is going to facilitate your unfolding or whatever you like for yourself and make a, a pleasant atmosphere to be with the others here? So i just like, just for a few minutes, if you'd just like to make inputs yourselves, that what would you actually like to see or what would you like to feel while you're here, experience while you're here? And when we've done that, then we can talk about what specific behaviors can we agree on that will help to produce that mood and that atmosphere. So, go ahead. <laughs> 